Hello and welcome back to RoboStout. Today we're going to do a very quick tutorial on how to use Chrome, pull over the website, drop it, make icons on the desktop to make things a lot easier. As you can see on my screen right now, I have an icon here. This is what we're gonna build today, right after this. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump into this. So three things that we're gonna work on. We're going to go ahead and make an icon on the desktop of the website that you want. Second thing is we're gonna rename it. So maybe if you wanna change it to something different. And the third thing is, is we're gonna change the icon to make something a little bit more pleasing on your desktop. Maybe there's a certain look that you're going for. Whatever it is, I'm gonna help you through all three steps. So let's start with the first one. Go ahead and open up your Chrome browser. As you can see, I open up, it's just Google. Let's just go ahead and pick a random website out there. I don't know, www.robostout.com. Sounds like a good random web address to look at, right? So I wanna make this website an icon on my desktop. So first and foremost, a really simple to do. And again, we're not making bookmarks, right? We're not bookmarking this for later. We're actually gonna make icons. So first and foremost, right next to my web address, as you can see here, there's a little lock. I want you to click, hold, drag, then let go to drop. And look at that, my friends. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window here. And you can see I have a very basic icon here. If I double click on it, boom, it opens it up. Easy peasy, real simple, absolutely. Now, for some of you, if you're like, okay, that's all I needed to go, perfect, video's done for you. But if you wanna go in it a little bit more and maybe change some stuff and make it a little bit more unique, stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you step two and we're gonna rename it. As you can see on my desktop icon here, it gets kind of cut off and I wanna make it something a little bit simple. So I'm going to click on it, right click, hit rename, and I'm just immediately gonna type in whatever I wanna name it to. And I'm gonna change it to RoboSout website. It's all on the screen, nice and simple, so I can see the icon. And that is how you rename the icon. Very simple, very easy to do. So the third and last thing I'm gonna show you is how do we change the icon? Because right now the icon itself is kind of boring. It looks like a Chrome icon and uh, I want something to more pop out. So there's two different ways to do this. There's a easy way where you can just choose a few pieces or there's a longer way where you go back in and you actually have a little bit more icons to choose from. So let me show you the flow of it. So first and foremost, you're gonna highlight it, right click on it, go down to properties this time. You're gonna have a little window that pops up here. It says RoboStout website properties. Yours will look a little bit different depending on the website you're going through. A little bit of the information, but you're gonna notice this box right here that says change icons. Go ahead and click on that. It looks like we got a handful of icons, not a lot, but just a handful of icons. So let's just go ahead and change it. We gotta get it off that Chrome. Number one, it's on a Chrome one. Let's change it to something different. Yep, let's go ahead and go with the square with a bunch of different colored squares inside of it. We're gonna press okay. We're gonna hit apply. And now you're gonna notice on your desktop, I have changed the icon to that white square with the color boxes inside of it, RoboStout website, and nothing's changed on here. It'll still go to the same website as I close this out and I double click on it itself. And there you are, right back to it. So what if we wanna make this look even cooler with some different things? Like I said, when you show, when I started this, you had a little question mark. Well, how do I get to that question mark, Darren? How did, I, how did you change the icon? Well, let me show you how you can do that. Now that we've changed it out of the Chrome icon and made it into this, we can actually go back in, hit right click, hit properties again, and now you're gonna see the change icon just like you did before, but now since we changed it out of Chrome, now we have all the different system icons that are available for us to take a look at. So through here, man, look at all these. Got a whole bunch of different ones you can choose from. Some should look familiar. Some you've probably seen before, but you know what? We wanna do that question mark that we saw before. And oh, there it is. So I like this icon. This is what I wanna make it. RoboStout is a information, questions, answering. And so it makes sense for me to go ahead and make it a question mark. So I got the blue circle with the white question mark. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna press okay, hit apply, press okay. And there you go. We've now got an icon that we want. We've changed the name. And every time now that we click on it, I'm gonna go ahead and click this out. It brings me into the RoboSout website. Easy, simple, and you can do as many as you want on your desktop. It might be a little unorganized after a while, but make sure you organize it with a really cool icon and you can do some pretty amazing stuff.
If you guys like this video, check out my other videos that I have on here. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification button for anything cool that comes out from robostout.com. And like always, my friends, I will see you guys on the flip side. Peace.